live on YouTube. I know. Let me just move the camera around there a little bit. You can see some nice painting stock. It's got my kitchen in the background. It's awesome. So welcome to YouTube. And um, if you've got, I'm going to try and see if I can actually see what you guys are writing um, at the same time. <laughs> Don't know if I can. Who knows? Hi, Kayleen. Hello, hello. Um, oh, let me see. Is there any? No. Okay. Go there. Go there. Your channel. Let's see. G'day, Heather. Hello, hello. Let's see if I can watch it here and see comments. Beautiful. Hello, everyone. Christine and Yvonne. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, hello, hello. So, Naomi, g'day. Hello, everyone. Ah, oh, it's very warm here today. I don't know about your end. I hope you're not uh, wet. Helen, uh, g'day, Helen. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, you're uh, enjoying some nice sunshine out in the garden, not too far away from your phone, obviously, because you want to be watching this. <laughs> I've got something to show you. I've got this massive delivery in. Um, and I'm going to show you, actually I've got two deliveries in, so I want to show you those. So first things first, let's show you these things and you can go bananas. G'day, Andrea. Um, so these are, uh, I didn't make them. I, no, I just bought them. So these are uh, canvas bags. They are not lined, no lining, but get a load. It says just keep pedaling. How cute is that? Isn't that gorgeous? So that is one of them. The other one says be positive with a rainbow. Be positive. And the other one says wild and free, which is a bit cute with the um, owl. And they are a whole $10 each. So you can choose which one you like. I'm going to bring them out on live on Monday night, but I'm happy to take orders now, although I don't have a pen to write down. Oh, there's one way over there. So um, g'day, Julie, how are you going? And uh, I will take orders. I can always take them off the live later in chats. Hopefully I can find them. Uh, new to me doing lives on YouTube. It's a little bit different. So... Um, We'll just keep canvas bag, please keep pedaling. Jimmy, yeah, no dramas. Um, let me get that pen and paper. So if anyone doesn't know me very well, they know that I'm pretty easygoing and it is sort of, you know, things just happen as they happen. And I do make mistakes when I do videos, which is just, just like everyone else, okay? So I just think that if I could make the mistake, you can make a mistake and it's okay. We can just keep on going. Uh, Jimmy wants a pedaling bag. Yep. All right. So let's, let's get into it. So that's those little bags. And, oh, and then I have, this is really exciting. I've been waiting for these for ages, 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 ages. These have my name on them. Can you see that? Michelle's patchwork. This is the Holly, the, the, the Holly stencil, candy cotton. I don't know if you can see that. It's very hard to see. Let's see if I can put a blank page behind it of some sort. Candy cotton. Then we have, which way? Hi, Bev. Now, these are rulers for your free motion quilting. And that one there is fan diamond. Meander. Then we have heart border. So we'll make a heart for you. And we have swirls. Everyone loves swirls. And we have braid border. And we also have bubbles. Oops. Try again. We have bubbles. And we have your stipple, the larger one is stipple. Now these are all 25 each, but there's 10 of them. So if you get the whole set, I'll do them at, 20, at 200, so $20 a piece. So there's 10 in all. 
So if you want a set of those, you'll need, it's for high shank rulers only because they're the only ones I could get made, but they are brilliant for your free motion quilting, especially when you're learning and you just need to, um, you know, just a little bit of help along the way. I'm going to do lots of demos with them, but I will go further into them and, uh, and talk a bit more about them. All right. So that's the new product. Can I have a Holly stencil? Yes, you can. Where do I put that pen? See, I'm really organized and very professional. There it is. <laughs> um, and a Holly um, so template no worries easy done oh, I can do these things so pop that there for a minute try not to lose my pen again um, does anyone know how I can see the chat as well as the live it comes up underneath instead of at the side not too sure Bev mm -mm. no worries Jimmy you're welcome so I've been playing a lot lately with making bags and little pouches and stuff like that. You've seen the videos I've done live on Facebook and I thought I was, I was, you know, ferreting around YouTube and I seen this. So the zipper goes across, um, you can, you know, has a chuckle at the comment. <laughs> Um, hide. <laughs> G'day Nini. Um, so I saw this. So I thought I'd try and make it and it was it was pretty good but I think it will be easy and I'm going to show you without using pleather. So I used pleather which made it really quite thick and I don't really like the accent around the zip. I don't know, it's just me. So I'm going to do it without that and we're going to quilt the fabric and I thought I would use video small or are you on the TV? Okay, you're just helping each other. I would use one of my fabrics um, and then, yeah, I've got mine smaller, Jimmy. It's on one side and then the uh, Heather and then on the other side it says chats. And the lining is a batik. So I thought I would use that because it's nice and soft and it should be quite easy for me to stitch together. So um, I also have these in stock as well, which is your zipper jig. Plenty of those are only $12. Again, they are not yet. None of this is on the website. I need to get, pull my finger out really on that one. Um, and I also have a zipper, but I only have one side of it and that zipper would have to be 24 I've made it too big about 29 inches tribe still comes under so need to keep scrolling up to see on the phone as well okay I'm watching on big tv and comments coming up on my phone I can't see you on my phone <laughs> okay at least you get in comments at least you get in the comments Julie the other thing is I've also got a little zipper head there he is there. It's a number five zipper head. Now I have cut this and I'm pretty sure it was mm, just on 20 by 15. It was a piece. I had a piece left over. And I have wadding in between. Okay, wadding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Rodney and Charmian. Hi, how are you Charmian? I'm just going to move the camera, so bear with me because I am live and you know how I, I'm, yeah, you know, I'm pretty lackadaisy. So let's just move some of this out of the way and get you guys in to see what I am doing. So I need to move my computer. I need to move the camera. Come in close, not too close. You'll set my nose. And let's go down. All right. I think we're good. Hi Veronica. So what we're going to do is make this fella and basically it's quilted in one go. I did it with pleather. Not really keen with this. Don't really like that um, and I don't know if I like this around here but anyway we'll go with it. So I have got my 20 by 15 piece of fabric, wadding and backing. You could draw lines on this. I am literally going to um, just stitch lines straight down. You can cross hatch. You can use one of your new rulers. 
Hi, Lynn. And um, you can do all those sort of things. It doesn't matter. You can follow the lines and make it wonky, whatever you like. But this is one of the panels that I have, and I thought I would use them. Just get my coffee out of the way. So let's give it a burl. All right. Now, I think I've got everything. I've got to keep moving the stuff because I keep putting things in the wrong spot. All right. You've got your little scissors. I've got my walking foot on. I've got my top thread in and it's threaded and I have a new bobbin in the bobbin so that I don't um, run out halfway through. I'm going to move this camera over a little bit more. Move everything over. And we're going to zoom in. So trying to make it as smooth as possible, guys. There we go. Let's zoom in a little. What the days? What? There we go. All right, we're in, said Flynn. So, okay. Now, I just stitched, stitched it did. Normally I'd have my quilting gloves on, but with all the mess on the table, I can't find them. <laughs> so, um, I'm basically going to run a stitch down the center ish. Actually, I might run it level with the bed of my machine. So I don't know if you can see here, but I've got the fabric up against there. You can rule lines. It's either either is okay. My stitch is going to go up to number four and I'm going to go fairly fast. We're going to stitch this down. Up. Now, you can do them as far apart or as close as you like. I'm sort of eyeballing as you do, you know, how I do. Um, so I'm hoping, Jimmy, you, uh, well, you are organised. I know, Jimmy. Don't tell anyone. They'll all expect it every time. I did try it without a walking foot, but I found it just sort of pinched up underneath. It was all right on the top, but it just didn't like it. So up here, I'm eyeballing again. Jimmy, you can eyeball, you've got a spare one. You can take it out and eyeball. You can purposely make these large and small. Um, you can spray baste it if you like, all that sort of jazz, either either. So let's just quilt this, talk among yourselves. Um, I do need to get my cutter and blade, my blade and my, my mat for the next bit. There is a piece that they, you cut off this uh, through the progress uh, process of it. And I'm sort of like, eh, do I, you know, do I, don't I cut it off? Like as in, you know, or do I use a blade, do I use scissors? But I think blade's better. You'll get a more precise cut. Oops, it is. So just stitch along and make sure your last one goes on the edge. Even if it's like one eighth. Helen, I made several of these. Oh, they're called Hemingway pouches in a small size last week for a fundraiser. They loved them, either pencil case, glass case, scissors, rotary cutter, heaps of, of uses. That's fantastic. I love that. I love that. I really love that. That's what they're called. I forgot what they're called. But I did, I did think that they're pretty cool. And yet, like you say, you can do them in all different sizes. And then I'm just going to swing her around and go the other way. So you can um, you can actually buy pre-quilted fabric if you wanted to. You can uh, just get a big piece of fabric and pre-quilt it for yourself. You can um, sit and do this at the time of making it. It's entirely up to you. I reckon if you had pre-quilted, it'd be really quite nice, like as in, you know, a nice paisley design or something like that. Mm -hmm. 
So we just quilt this. You could even do decorative stitches down it instead of these straight stitches. You could decorate it. Um, you could do it in strips and quilt as you, quilt as you go type of method um, straight onto the, the foam. You can use foam. I'm not using foam in this one. I think a lot of people use foam. I'm just using wadding because I had spare wadding. It'll just be a little softer than, say, the other one. You could interface as well as use wadding and that'll give it a bit more stiffness. So um, there's also this really cool box, like a pencil case one that I thought I would do a demo on as well. So that's going to come up soon. Um, what else is there that I've, I've been thinking of so many things this is what happens when Christmas and New Year's comes along I start thinking about stuff I've been wanting to do all year and and, and then I go right I've got time and I start doing all these demos and stuff well that was a bit crooked but anyway should be right Okay, last one, just just side bit there. You can go all the way around it or you can overlock it if you wanted to. Um, entirely up to you. Okay, so that is now quilted and I did use black thread in the bobbin so it's black on the inside as well, but that is now quilted. That's, yeah, that's technicals I get today. All right, let's pop that down here and zoom back out. There we go. All right, let's get the ruler. So we need a mat, blade and ruler. Okay. Um, love this material. What is the measurement of the square? So this is 20 by 15. Thank you, Gidget. All right. So I'm going to, like that's 15 there. So what you want is this one. So you're going to find a halfway mark is going to be seven and a half, that here. So you want it to be higher, even if it's an inch higher, it needs to be higher than the halfway mark. So I'm going to go five inches down. I'm just going to get a mark here. And on my mat, I'm going to do it on an angle because the mat's not long enough. I'm going to go from here to that corner. So there to the opposite corner and I'm going to cut that off. <laughs> Scary, I know. When I first did, I went. Ooh. All right. Okay, bit of a pizza cut, but it'll work. And this is the part I sort of look at and go, "Oh, what do you do with it?" I mean, you could, you could try and make it into something, but I don't know, like a really tiny one. <laughs> suppose you could just not much seam there um hello linda g'day liz how you going all right so that piece there just pop aside you'll try and find a use for that later up this is where you need your zipper now i have had i've got a, a long zipper this is the other half of the one i made before which is this one in here so the 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 pattern does the pattern the the instructions did say to put a little piece on and make that little thing I don't want to I'm just going to sew that to the edge here I I didn't like the way it sat I sort of went I don't like it so um, if you want to um, you can have it where your zipper comes a little bit further than the actual edge and just clip that on. Just try and keep it as straight as possible. 
That's what you do. You knock everything over in the middle of the night. That's, that's how I roll. Make two of these and then put it together and you'll get a have power. Yes, that's true. Yes, that's a great idea, Gidget. Yes, absolutely. Well, I've got my off cut from the other one, but it's pleather. So I'm not sure if I want to use it. But um, that's a great idea, two of them together. You can use your zipper tape. You can use clips. I've been, I can't find my zipper tape and I don't want to open up a new one. So I'm just using clips. Um, and because we've, we're not doing a lining, this is, we're just going to stitch this on. And um, I thought you were, you would have cut it across the other way. Huh. No, don't freak me out, Kathleen. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, <laughs> you know what I'm like I could make a boo-boo and not even know I'm doing it um, and then we're going to stitch that down turn it over and top stitch but with a bit of luck if we stitch it correctly and we've given ourselves a little bit of room when we turn it over we will be able to hide and we can even trim this seam back a little bit and it'll hide in there underneath and you won't see that so that might be the way to go. We just trim it back a little. So we know that we've caught the actual edge. So swap your foot over, which I'll just do right now because we want a zipper foot on here. And I'm not doing any more quilting. <laughs> yeah, you, oops. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> um, so I'll pop that one on. Come on, wiggle, wiggle. Get in straight. <clears throat> now, I did notice before I put my foot back on and when I went to go and change it, it was loose. So that meant that I hadn't actually tightened it with a screwdriver. It's really important to tighten it with a screwdriver. Uh, the thread I'm using is, again, just that um, they reversed when you put them together. Also, the binding on the raw edge before the binding is way easier to sew the zipper in. Binding on uh, the binding is easier. Turn up the binding on the raw edge before the uh, before the binding is easier way to sew in the, the zipper on. Okay, well I'm going to give it a go this way because I haven't tried this way with this Helen. So let's give it a go anyway. I reckon you're probably right. I'll just move this mat out of the way because I don't need it anymore. Get this in and I'm right in there. And let's sew this on. So I'm going to move my needle over and I'm going to sew that on. I reckon you're right, Helen. But we'll give it a burl anyway. Okay. Probably need to slow down a fraction. Come on, in you come. Oh, we got caught. Of course you did. Get off there. What's going on there? Get off. We're good. All right. Yeah, see, on my phone, I can't see any comments on the computer I can. I found that the binding on the outside was a little rough and sticky to do. Um... So you could be 100% right doing that, the way you said. We'll give it a, a go this way and see what happens. We'll sew that zipper in. I mean, you can... You can give it a lining. You could do all those things and, and do it the traditional way of making any kind of bag and it will it will work the same way. It's just um, your, your um, preferred method of doing it, I suppose, isn't it? All right, let's go back out here. Now we're going to turn this over. And before I do anything more... I'm going to come along with my little duck bills and I'm just going to trim that off a little just in here. Uh, not too far, just off a little. I just want to hide it in amongst 
the seam because I'm going to stitch that zipper down a bit again, second stitch, like a top stitch. And um, come on. So we give this a trim really there. Good thing about the duckies, they, they get in between the layers nicely. I love a good pair of duck bills. Okay. Get rid of that. And then what we do is turn it back over and stitch that down along there. You can throw a couple of clips in if you want to, just to help hold it down along the way. I'm going to top stitch that. Hi Lou, I pinned my raw edges with eau de coat painted. Oh yeah, just stop them from fraying. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oops, yeah, eau de coat or that, um, what's that other one they, um, they use for um, laminating, not laminating, um, what do they call it? Oh God, go over the pin, Michelle. Think. Oh, vin uh, liquid vinyl. So I'm going over to the right hand side and I am going to get that thread out of there because I reckon that's what caught up before. Needle down, a couple of stitches and then these clips out of the way and stitch that down. And that should help hold that zipper tape down so that when you're opening your zipper, it doesn't get in your way. It's just a nice top stitch, number four. Laid on logging on, what am I making? You're making like a, uh, what they call them, a Hemingway pouch. You can do these any size, any any way you like, really. Okay, let's put those off. Pop them back in there, lift that up, and we have now done the top stitch. So that, on the back, see how it's covered up that raw edge now? You can't see the raw edge. Okay, now, turn it over and turn it to the front pull the leftover to this to the right let's get you in the screen properly so you can see what i'm doing down there so pull that over you might have to trim up your bits but wait until um you've got it all together i'm going to line up you should have it lined really well here, but I've got an excess on this side with the front fabric. So I'm going to line it up with the internal fabric and I'm going to just clip that in place. Morning, everyone. Thanks, Michelle. Uh, my last puzzle arrived with surprise, but you're welcome. <laughs> no dramas. Good you got it. Yeah, anything that was a package um I think mum might have missed putting one in a couple, but um, everyone sort of got, got a little gift. And uh, there'll be no, more for the new year too. All right, so we got those. And then get this one and flip it over like that. And what you want to make sure is that it's going to go up to the top that these zipper heads match and that side matches so I'm just playing with it a little you could probably 
Got a bit of a twist in my fabric, I think. Let's pull that over. There we go. That's a bit better. I'm going to clip up here to keep that folded out of my way. And that one here is there. Now I've got that, I want to have these babies even. Um, so line them up. And just trim off any hairy bits. Um, then we're going to, I'll show you with this. Got adhesive on the back. Like I said, I won't stick it right down because it's not where I want it to be. Um, I'm just going to stick it just there with the top bit so it doesn't move. You get that rounded bit. It's got a face away from you. That little bit there that holds on to the charm. That goes in that groove and just give it a bit of a shove down. Then with right sides facing down, like that, turn it over, place those in. And both in at the same time, and give them a little shove. So I will zoom that right in, like that, and just shove it that once you've got it in take that out and zip that up okay done go up that <clears throat> all right I can take that off because I don't need it there what well, if you use the whole adhesive of that of that zipper thingy it will stay exactly where you put it I'm just going to make sure that my lining on the inside is not creased and another clip there and a clip there and I'm actually going to come in like um, a half an inch along here I just want to make sure I'm getting that lining on the inside because there is a difference between the outside and the inside so I'm going to go so half an inch down here and then and along the bottom and then we're going to do the binding so let's bring you back over here swap foot ski over they're quick they're quitty. They're pretty quick. I can't even speak now. Um, I find them pretty quick. I'm just going to go over to there. Let's start off the edge on this one. And when you go over the zip, make sure you go backwards and forwards. It's the nylon zip, so it should take it. And I am going to trim the edges of this. You can use your walking foot at this point, which probably would help reduce any puckering. But I couldn't be bothered swapping over. So I'm going to deal with it. So that end. Then we're going to turn it around. We're going to sew across here. And like I say, if you didn't have, if you had a walking foot on, you wouldn't get pinching. That's going to pinch a little because of the foot. Okay. 
This is a different way to bind it as the ones I made, the patch was turned inside out and were bounded inside. Oh, okay, so it's a little bit different. Oh, well, it's interesting. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm just going to trim the edges on this all the way around. Just to neaten them up a bit and take the uh, excess out of the binding. I don't want all that excess in. Okay, that's all rubbish. I'll just trim that up there. Okay. Now, you can bind it with the same fabric it's made of, or you can bind it with something else. I thought I had some excess left over from the other one, so I might as well bind it. And it's the same colour as the inside of here. I won't open it right out because I don't want it to come undone. <laughs> now, because um, we don't have to worry about it being inside out, we don't have to worry about the zipper being open or closed, so you get your bit of two and a half inch strip of fabric, fold it in half and we're going to sew on the bottom first and we're going to sew that on, I'll move you over here, come with me and leave a bit of a tail on the end, you want that tail you can pin it whatever you like um, it's up to you don't think I need to pin this I'm giving it a good seam um, because when I turn it around um, I am going to trim it, but I'm giving it a good seam because I want to make sure that I've I've missed. Um, I've got to trim it a little bit more, but I'm going to make sure that I've missed things. So cut off that tail like that. So you've got a little bit of extra. Bring her over here. Come back in, and with those duckies. We're just going to come in a little bit closer. I'll go this way. A little bit closer. I just want to get that little bit of excess out of there. So that when I turn it around, I've got less in the seam. Come on. This is quite thick. You imagine using foam, it actually get really quiet. Try these ones, they're a bit hard on my hands, doing that. Using foam would get really, really thick. Just make sure you don't cut your tail off, you need that. All right, so then you can finger press or you can iron that over, turn it right over, trim off your hairy bits. And on these ends, it's everywhere. Just finger press that, <clears throat> finger press that there, and turn that over. You'll need clips. Just clip that there. Actually, we might just, yeah, no, that'll be fine. Clip that there. Turn it over. Clip that there. And with that, we're going to fold it this way, but you're going to have to tuck that in a little bit first and then fold it over. Otherwise, you'll end up with a like a second little bit of fabric sticking out. So just tuck it over. And just make sure you go past the seam that you did. If you don't go past that seam, when you stitch it next 
the next stitch, the next line of stitching you do, won't cover it. So again, tuck that in. There, fold that over a little bit first. And get in there. And that's the dog stopping in the background. I can just read there. Tuck that over. Get those bits out of the way. Fold it over. Helps when you got three hands, not two. And clip. And then we can stitch that along there. Uh, could you please make a triangle pouch with a with a zip? Yeah, I can do that. Next video, I will do that for you. What? No, I lost my camera. Come to mama. Okay, turn it back over this way. Make sure that that is in. If it's not, it's no big deal too much because um, it'll go in the seam. This edge here's got to be bound. Oops, it does needle up. Let's go like one. Didn't like that much at all, did it? It'll slow down a little bit too, I think. There we go. There we go. And just stitch in that groove. If you've pushed your binding past that stitch line, you're going to catch your binding. This is probably where you would change it up to the your bobbin thread into a colour that would suit the binding or you'd put a binding on to suit the thread colour. Mine's going to have black. <laughs> And just back stitch there. Fingers crossed, we have caught it all. Oh no, missed a bit. Oh, I missed all of it, didn't I? Good God, Michelle! What did the bobbin come out? Oh, the bobbin came out. Let's try again. No, oh, how ridiculous! Huh. <laughs> It's gonna go wrong. It'll go wrong with me. Always does. Why is it always me? Why do I end up having these things happen to me? <laughs> you gotta love lives for this particular reason. Try again. Right. You better have gone past this time, mate. I won't know until I get halfway there. I can't check yet either. Am I catching it? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't think the quilting police are watching. Now they might be. You've got to watch them. They could be watching. I'm going to go on the edge because that's really annoying me. Obviously, I didn't cut out enough. You're supposed to cut out enough. If I change my thread up, I'm going to end up with um. I'm going to end up with a line. But anyway, it'll be fine. Come on, in you go. There we go. This should catch it. <clears throat> Please tell me you've caught it. Woohoo! <laughs> Got it. Got him, yeah, good one.
<laughs> there we go. Now I got him. I still missed. Look at that. Little booger. I'm going to go from this side. It's annoying me. <sighs> because I'm so precious about everything I do. Not. All right. I'm going to fix this. It kills me. All right. I did it before, all right. I did it on the pleather, okay. I just can't seem to do it on normal cotton. All right. Looks like a bloody dog's breakfast. All right. Let's go in there, trim out some hairy bits. <laughs> all right. She done. Now let's do the other side. Clean up some of that. A little bit skew if, but she'll be right. Let's get you back here. Okay, theoretically, you wouldn't have that stitch there. Let's keep working on it. Okay, got another bit of binding. This is all left over from the other one. And I cannot say I did not see it. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to trim that thick bit off there. And I am going to place that on here. Like I say, make sure you've got that going over the edge so you can put a tail on it. You've got a tail going over the edge of the um, actual pouch. And then you can um, make sure that you uh, turn it under. If you don't have that, then you can't turn it under. Like if you cut it level with this, you can't turn it under and you'll have a raw edge. All right, let's put this together. And I'm going to just come over a little. Maybe a little bit more. I'm just going to back stitch over that zipper. I just freak out that they're going to come undone or something horrible. Well, that's exactly right. We're not perfect. We sew, we sew for uh, enjoyment. Yeah, I don't know if I'm enjoying this. <laughs> All right. That there. And I'm going to trim off the... Oh, good one, Michelle. Trim off that excess. There we go. Press it down. Flip it over. You can, you can actually do, like you said, you could do this on the inside too. If you wanted to have it clean on the outside, you could put the, this um, seam on the inside. Um, yeah, you could, there's so many ways of doing this, I reckon. Or I reckon. Just turning that under. I'm trying to tuck in all my bits this time. Don't have any bits hanging out. There we go. Right. Now I'm going to do it. See if I can do it the second time around. I reckon the way that Helen does it sounds even better. I mean, I sort of only just found these. I didn't even know they really existed. So I sort of went, yeah, let's have a go at this and have a play. But I reckon the one that Helen's talking about where it's um, on the inside would even be nicer. Right? There we go. My bits are too big. They have... <laughs> I'm not even going there. <laughs> All right, let's try and sew this one in. <laughs> um, and I'm going to try from this side again and see what happens this time. 
Let's see if I can completely screw it up second time around. Are we catching it? Oh, just a hair on a bee's knee. A hair on a bee's knee. But now I've done that stitch on there, like now I need to do another one across it anyway, just so it makes it match, if you know what I mean. I might have to try this weekend myself, so eyeballing it. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Yeah. <laughs> At least you won't get blocked on Facebook for commenting. <laughs> Let's have a look, see what I did. Oh my God, I caught it. But I am going to come down with a second stitch because I did it on the other one. I, I need to have matching matching stitches now. Uh, come on, in you go. That was a bit thick, wasn't it? And my poor innocent <laughs> drivers until <laughs> dives into the quilt. Yeah, <laughs> your poor innocent ears. All right, um, that is that done. And yeah, I reckon Helen's way would be nicer. There you go. I mean, I could turn it inside out. Just zip it be on the wrong side. So there you go. That that is it. That is how I did that, and I did this one in a bigger one. That was like 25 by 20 inch. That was much bigger. Um, and, uh, yeah, I have the same issue as you can. <laughs> That's okay, Jimmy, no. So 15 by 20 and then 20 by, um, 20 by 25. So it shows you the difference in size. Might have needed to square it up a little bit more on that side. I did feel that when I was putting it in, but eh, should be right. It's done. So that's that's another one, another one done. Another little demo done for you. Now let me turn this up. Let's get to back a bit because otherwise you'll be up my nostrils. There we go. What would you put in it? I suppose you could put projects in it. I suppose um, you could use it for. Um, it's got a good size to it, so hairbrushes, things like that. Um, what's a curling wand or a hair, hair dryer or something, you know, something that'll fit into a bulky sort of thing. Um, I'll just read the comments. So, yeah, so that, that's that one. So, uh, laptop, yeah, laptop. This one would fit a laptop, a small laptop. Yeah, easy. Actually, it could even come close to fitting my laptop in it. It's quite big. Uh, when doing the inside binding, I cut it uh, binding two and a quarter by length of both sides plus two inches and bind one side first and do the, the right angle on the corner. Yeah, like the proper, yeah, like a proper top turn, fold each end in quarter inch. Beautiful iPad. Yes, Yvonne, iPad, it would work. Yeah, easily, easy, easily, easily. So, yeah, so what do you think of the new little projects? Did you see, did you, did you see these bags? I showed these at $10 each. They are canvas. I have wild and free. Wild and free. Very cute. Not lined. These are not lined. Be positive and just keep pedaling. <laughs> and they're $10 each. So they've just come in. And new rulers for free motion quilting, and they're going to be there's a pack of 10 for 200 or they're 25 each. They uh, have different, they've got one for bubbles, a braid border, a swirl, heart border. Jimmy, good for my hand embroidery traveling. Yes, yes, exactly, Jimmy. Yes, uh, meander, fan diamond. And uh, which way border? 
and uh, if you like the sound effects, they come in here. Cotton candy, I'll have a wild free <laughs> cotton candy, which I reckon looks more like um, clouds. I think they look like clouds. Um, and also the holly, holly, and you've got the, the berries as well, so the leaf and the berries, and also the stencils. They would make nice panels, pretty panels. They would. So um, you could actually cut the bag up if you wanted to. <laughs> they're canvas, but they're pretty heavy. Um, well, you've got front and back then, haven't you? You could actually you could actually put a bit of wadding in, cut it out, quilt as you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, having a massive storm in Newcastle of Lost Connection. Thank you, Michelle. I love. I look forward to our videos. No worries, Helen. You're welcome. Thank you for your input too. I really appreciate that. Um, I always like to try these things. I sort of sometimes get a chance to make them, sometimes don't, and sometimes it's straight off the seat of my pants. So, but they're the new ones. That is uh, using the number five zippers that we've been selling forever. And um, yeah, and one this one's with the pleather, and they had like a, which I found it really hard to get that to sit in nicely um, and catch that. I have a, um, I, I've just read that. And um, so it's just like a contrasting, which you could you could still do with the other one I did. And using faux leather was quite thick. Uh, I cannot ha take eye sewing machine that I, on the bus. Oh, really? You can't take a sewing machine on the bus? Oh, really? Can't you put it in a bag and t carry a bag with a little trolley? And that's using your cotton fabric. And uh, that's one of the panels that I had. Yeah. So there you go. All right. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, had a bit of a laugh at me making boo-boos. Just how I roll and all that jazz. And um, I will talk to you guys soon up with another video for you. That triangle zipper one i reckon i know the one you're talking about i've seen a comment before about it so yeah so if you um want uh, to see that one as well i'll try and give that a go and um you're not clear was it not clear just making sure oh where was it did you make a triangle pouch with a zip yes i know i will i'll give that a go um i think it was liz sullivan Easy done. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you uh, real soon and uh, chat then. Bye.